Apparently, early in Sonic's career, he had a spider sense like ability that triggered a sneeze when danger was near. This obscure detail about Sonic's character was brought to light in 2020 on Twitter. Segabits.com engaged in some discussion about odd Sonic the Hedgehog 2 pins. One of the pins featured Sonic, where he seems to be sneezing on Tails. Twitter user Rain and Wise shed light on the situation. It was an early Sonic thing that he'd sneeze when danger was approaching. The most prominent evidence lies in the intro sequence of Sonic CD. The twitch some fans mistook for surprise? It's actually a slow motion sneeze, just as rocks tumble towards Sonic. The game even featured unused sprites of Sonic sneezing in-game. Some fans have speculated that Sonic's attempts at rubbing his nose in the Sonic the Movie or Sonic OVA are an effort to avert a sneeze, and another reference to this sense. The Sonic team did work closely with the producers of the OVA, so it is definitely a possibility. Are you familiar with the Sonic arcade games? Mainly Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega Sonic Popcorn Machine, or the cancelled Sega Sonic Bros? Well, whether you are or not, you might be wondering why they all include the word Sega with Sonic. His name isn't Sega Sonic the Hedgehog after all. Well, the details are a bit unclear, but apparently there was some dispute over the Sonic the Hedgehog trademark. According to gaming journalist John Shepanyak, Sega of America had failed to submit proper paperwork for the trademark, causing a potential lapse. So, had it not been for this legal kerfuffle, we might actually have had a third game simply titled Sonic the Hedgehog. I suppose we'd be calling it Sonic Arcade if that had happened. Speaking of Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, according to European gaming magazine Mean Machine Sega, the game was going to be ported to the Sega 32X. Since Sega Sonic the Hedgehog was developed by AM3 instead of the usual Sonic team, it has some interesting ties to Sega's legacy. For instance, one of Sega's serving composers, Hiroshi Kawaguchi, worked on part of the soundtrack for Sega Sonic. If that name isn't immediately familiar, he also worked on the soundtrack for Sega's arcade legends such as Hang On, Outrun, and Fantasy Zone. Masahiro Hoshino's first contribution to the Sonic title was on Sega Sonic as well. He would go on to do character design work for Sonic Adventure DX and gameplay design for Sonic Riders. Electronic Gaming Monthly was oddly enamored with the game too, it seems, scoring it a 10 out of 10, a higher score than some of the mainline games have gotten from them stating that the game shatters your perception of what a good game should be. Continuing with our Sega Sonic Arcade kick, Sonic series writer Ian Flynn was asked about the placement of Sega Sonic on a theoretical Sonic timeline. Flynn stated that it was after Sonic R and Sonic 3 & Knuckles, probably before Other M too. Leave a comment if you got that one. Knuckles' origins began with an internal design competition at SEGA. The winner of the competition was Takashi Yuda, a SEGA of Japan veteran that had moved to the United States along with Yuji Naka to work at the SEGA Technical Institution and was now working on Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Takashi initially envisioned a green, spiny creature, and his design resonated well with the group of children SEGA used in a focus test, solidifying the concept. Takashi's initial design was worked and reworked by Takashi and Sega of America product marketing manager Pamela Kelly with input from the Sonic team. Yuta originally intended Knuckles to be a friend for Sonic. However, during development, the idea shifted, making Knuckles a rival instead. Early concept art showcases a range of designs. Some depict Knuckles as a mole-like creature, complete with sunglasses, perhaps hinting at poor eyesight. Other sketches portray a feline character. Knuckles was intended to have a whirlwind move that would break walls before that ability was given to his fists. Eventually, Knuckles' green color was later swapped for red. 
likely to avoid him getting lost in the lush green environments common in Sonic games. Red is also a color commonly associated with strength and power, a character motif that complemented Sonic's speedy nature. The white chestplate Knuckles sports holds a unique place in his design history. Rumors suggest it originated from a marketing deal with a popular shoe brand, possibly Nike. While this remains unconfirmed, the chest plate does resemble the Nike swoosh and undeniably adds a touch of flair to his character design. Check out our videos on God Tier Sonic vs. Drunk Wizard Eggman or every cancelled Sonic game! Thanks for watching!